Love shinies. Hal's bedroom and Hal's moving castle is one of my dream aesthetics. Oh, it really is, right? So good. It is excited. Good. I'm so glad. Because there's so many projects that people are like, oh, I don't know where to start, so I just don't. And it's like, no, just start. It's okay. You could totally do this. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Lady Lee. If Cozy ever gets into TTRPG, they'll dice goblin heart. Oh, buddy, I have uh, I have dice goblin in the past. I mean, I, I've got the mods to make some. But, uh... <laughs> I've, I've made... Yeah, I've made dice before. Little resin ones. Oh, is my chest full of dice? Yeah, I do know a few a few people who are way more dice goblin -y than me. Love starting a project that feels impossible. Yes, it's the finishing of it that's, you know, once the main bit's been done. Uh, had a flight inspection by Jake from the Letting Agency on Thursday. Finally got to see all the squishies and said, I love it. Next time there's an inspection, my hands can straight up to do it. Oh, I love that. Apparently, according to home decor websites, my taste is considered romantic. So I like a lot of pastels and woodland critters on my home decor. Have you... Drifting Light. Um, have you looked up um, cottage core? Surreptitiously moved dice away. I see you, Eldin. I see you. I love the shiny math rocks. Yeah, shiny math rocks go click clack. You used to have over a thousand dice and most got left behind when I moved back to the UK. Oh, but you had them. I looked at dice walls for soap. Nice, that would be cool. Like a D20 soap. I think when I actually start, sit and start beaning, I'll get past my, oh my goodness, this is big and important, just enjoy it. Yeah, getting started is sometimes the tough bit, isn't it? Especially when it's something, you know, like, I used to get really freaked out by, like, blank canvases um, when I was working on stuff. Um, professional soap maker for over 10 years. <gasps> you were? That's amazing! Seen cottage crawl and whatever I've got going on, it's like the pastel purple variety of that. I love that! Uh, but yeah, when you said like pastels and um, pastels and like animals and stuff, mine is goblin core very much. I always say my house looks like a haunted um, haunted junk shop in the forest. It's about as close as I can get. Squishies are cute and dies, but harder to roll. I mean, you've got a few cu cute little round, cute little round squishy friends, haven't you? Goblin core, yeah, hundred percent goblin core. <laughs> Yeah, Goblin Core and my own little cosy witchness. Oh, I was talking about that the other day, actually. Um, I couldn't think of anything to go as for Comic-Con. So I thought, and for um, Star Wars Celebration, which is in, they're both in like April and May. Have a god sister who's gotten into making resin items spiritual oriented to sell. That's awesome. Um, Animal Core, yeah. Animal Core is totally a thing. Haunted Junk Shop, yeah. It totally is. I'll give you a tour at some, time, at some point, Green. You'll be able to see. Made my first soap at New Year, you did, and it looked like forbidden mint choc chip, and it was gorgeous. I want to make more, but you know, kind of amount of soap in the flat, got to use the self-restraint. I mean, just to start gifting it to people. That's what I do when I run out of stuff. Uh, funniest thing was the whole discussion on my walls in my apartment was like, I want them lilac, and everyone was like, but isn't that too dark? How is lilac too dark? I mean, I, I want, like, grey, like, grey and dark green walls and stuff. Forbidden bits, it really did. And now everyone who's been over has been like, oh, your lilac walls are gorgeous. Yeah. I've lived in a house with white walls for too long. I want to have, like, beautiful, coloured, decorated, um, wallpapered walls. I'm a uh, goblin, goblin core maximalist is probably my, uh, my vibe, to be fair. <laughs> Oh goodness, I really want to carry on with this, but I do have stuff to do today. Today, I get to hang out with some of my fave peoples in the whole world, watch some wrestling, have some snacks, have some cuddles. I hope that you all have a, a wonderful rest of your day as well. We're going to check out someone to raid out to shortly, but we'll be back finishing our little uh, butterfly buddy tomorrow. Trying to think what colours to paint in our house, hoping to do some painting this year. That would be cool. It sounds like fun, right? <laughs> it 
Eclectic, witchy, culty style. Yeah, the same. Goblin core minimalist. No, goblin core maximalist. Not minimalist. Maximalist. <laughs> uh, hey, Joy. How are you doing? Welcome in. I always get a little nervous when I see people with a bunch of numbers in their name, so if you could say hi, I really would appreciate it. That doesn't go for you, Lady Lee. <laughs> it's been a good while sniffing the fragrance, so I'm trying to get the colour open to it longer than making all the soap. <laughs> To make Goblin Core maximalist redundant, though. I mean, kind of. But yeah, I always think of Goblin Core as like hoarding things away in little boxes and stuff, whereas maximalism is just everything everywhere. Yeah, Lila, I mean, yeah, I think people probably think like purpley stuff, yeah. Take care, Nufi. Thank you again for coming by. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay warm, drink the coffee, you'll be good. Our house is quite eclectic, yeah. Wish I was artistic. My bedroom would be green, lower, blue, higher, like a meadow across the room. Hey, Joy. Thank you so much for saying hi. It's wonderful to have you here. I know you only have three numbers. Leslie's got four, you see. <laughs> Good other cottage, bohemian cottage court. Yes. Good morning, Joy. It is, it is a joy to have you here with us. Sadly, we are just about to raid out, but I'm really glad that you've got to caught, catch a little bit of the stream. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I'm not going to live in a home magazine room. The only colour allows beige. Nope. Beige is on the plate. Beige is for the food. Oh my goodness, yeah. Mama Kestrel. Um, Ayala lives in Sweden, where they have allotment houses. Do you, um, hold on. Do you guys have such a thing as an allotment in America? Is it called the same kind of thing? So it's basically like land that you can grow vegetables and stuff on that's kind of kind of subsidized by the government i think or you look after it i can't remember really how yeah i don't know what that is so yeah it's it's basically like a big garden plot um that you share with a whole bunch of other people and you all have your own little space that you look after and you grow veggies and you grow plants flowers all that kind of stuff um in cities mainly i see uh rest well astra i didn't see you there have a lovely lovely rest so get to hop in the stream and say hello to everyone. I'm so glad to. It makes me very happy. Um, yeah, so an allotment is, yeah, like a little garden thing. My granddad owned one for 60 years. That's amazing, Yeast. Lots of those sorts of things in cities, yeah. So ILA looks after it and rents, rents the land but has got the house on it. And it's this beautiful house. And I cannot wait to see what you guys do with it, ILA. It's going to be beautiful. But it just seems so romantic and wonderful from the pictures I've seen of it. The reason my room is tidy is because of wheelchair. You have to keep clear floors and lots of space to have all the stuff everywhere. That is true. I try and keep everything on tables and chairs. <laughs> uh, but isn't that lovely? Goblin core and maximum is similar, but maximalism can mix with any other aesthetic. Can't see the walls. Goblin core is for the dark culture called people who hoard rocks. Yes. So I'm a mixture between those two, definitely. Have to pay out the buck for it. Yep. Absolutely hoard all the rocks. Yes, 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 yes. Right, folks. I'm going to have a quick look to see who we can raid out to. It has been wonderful, as always, to hang out with you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Let's see who's around. If you have any suggestions for anyone who is live, please let me know. And let me know what kind of stream I can expect if I uh, drop you guys off over there if I haven't met them before. Let me mute this tab, dang it. Okay, don't let me mute the tab. I'll just close you down. Hope you're behaving over there. Oh, why? Apologies if this comes through in a minute, folks. I'm trying to mute my tab and it's not letting me and it's making me very upset. I don't know. We got T. We raided T last week. We got Maisie Minx, Texas Hula. Oh, why won't you let me mute? <laughs> I'm sad. Um, but Joy Eileen, Pledge is on, Jack of the Dead is on, play Mortal Shell, this is going to make noise in a minute, stop! Mm. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> no. No. Mute. Okay, don't mute then, I'm just going to close you down. Sorry, folks. Um, my floors are tidy because of my chair, but my desk and couch is a mess. I dump everything on them. Oh, the chair. Yeah. 
<laughs> yep, the chair is good. Oh, Melon, it was wonderful for you being here too. See a crafty and a trick. Ooh, trick could be fun. Crafty is crafting. Uh, Tika, who's doing Just Dance 23. Goron, Goron, nice name. Who's doing Sea of Thieves? Nice. Thanks for a great chill stream. Thank you for being here, Elden. It was great having you here. Yeah, Joy Aileen is nice. Yeah, we might make Joy Aileen, actually. I know that Green loves Joy. Should we go and see Joy? Yeah, sorry. I was trying to open a, um, uh, for some reason, Chrome, the Chrome extension to mute my, mute my tab is not wanting to work for me. And I didn't want you guys to be hearing whatever the Twitch front page was trying to do. There we go. That's better. Right, we'll be out of here in a minute, folks. But thank you, as always, for being here. I hope you had a lovely time. Let me just find someone. Should we go for Joy Eileen? I haven't really met Joy before, but I know that Green uh, comes highly recommended by the lovely Green. So how about we go and see Joy? Uh, beautiful work today. Thank you so much, Lady Lee. It's wonderful having you here. Make sure that you've got the raid calls copied. Amazing to have you all here. Cozy and chill. Yes, Scoobaloo. That sounds perfect. Right, so thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for being so lovely and warm and welcoming and your wonderful selves all around. It warms my heart. It helps me to recharge from a week and I hope that it's done the same for you. I'll be back again tomorrow to finish our little butterfly friend and maybe move on to something new. Um, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. UK time every Saturday and Sunday. It's wonderful to have you here. Thank you to all the new people who've come along. Thank you to all the regulars who come along every week. I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, stay safe, stay cozy, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.